Hi, we're working out some examples of common values of sines and cosines of, of common angles. And remember what we learned is that everything kind of comes back to uh, knowing those two key triangles. There's the 45-45-90 triangle, whose values are root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2, and 1. And then there's the 30-60-90 triangle, whose values are 1 root 3 over 2, and, or sorry, 1 half root 3 over 2, and 1. So if you remember those sets of numbers, you can work out sine and cosine of any common value anywhere on the unit circle. So that's what we're doing here. We've been given a value 225 degrees. Convert it to radians. Let's start with that. 225 times pi over 180. Uh, is equal to, well, 225 over 180 simplifies down to 5 fourths. So that's 5 pi over 4. And let's draw that on the unit circle and see where it lands. Again, my unit circle is 0 pi over 2 which is the same as 90 degrees. Pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. And 3 pi over 2 radians is 270 degrees. 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. Now, we've got 225 degrees, or 5 pi over 4. Uh, 225 is between 180 and 270. In fact, it's exactly halfway between there, because it's 45 degrees from either side. So it's, it's right there. Uh, if you like that in terms of radians, 5 pi over 4 is just uh, pi plus another pi over 4. So that's the degree that we're looking, that's the angle that we're looking at. Now, we want to find, okay, so that's in the third quadrant. So we found its quadrant, we've converted it to radians. We want to find its cosine and sine. That's the x and y coordinates. So let me draw those in there. We want to figure out what those x and y coordinates are. Look, that's a common triangle. And I remember what the values of those common triangles are. That distance is root 2 over 2. That distance is root 2 over 2. I'm getting that because I remember this common 45, 45, 90 right triangle. So that means the sine and cosine are both root 2 over 2 and we just need to figure out whether they're positive or negative. All students take calculus. Down there in the third quadrant, only the tangent is positive. Both the sine and cosine are negative. Another way to remember that is just to remember that in the third quadrant, both x values and y values are negative. So sine uh, and cosine of this angle are both negative root 2 over 2. So again, what we're using over and over in these examples is these two key triangles, the 45-45. 90 triangle and the 30, 60, 90 triangle. You want to remember the values for those two triangles, root 2 over 2, root 3 over 2, and 1 half. Remember those values, and then when you have an angle that's in one of the other quadrants, it's just a matter of translating one of those triangles over there and then figuring out whether your sines and cosines are positive or negative.